Hi, this is Nimal Kunath from Nutanix. In this video, we will see how an OpenShift container platform cluster can be quickly deployed and managed on the Nutanix Cloud Platform directly from the Nutanix Prism console. The OpenShift container platform is available as an application from the Prism Central Marketplace. This allows an OpenShift cluster to be quickly deployed and managed on Nutanix with just a few clicks. This greatly reduces the friction of running cloud native applications and allows you to quickly bring your ideas to production. Here, we have logged into the Nutanix Prism Central console. First of all, we have to ensure that the Nutanix marketplace is enabled. The marketplace allows self-service provisioning for authorized consumers to easily discover, install, and manage Nutanix and partner applications from a single location. From the drop-down menu on the top left, we will be selecting the apps and marketplace. As we scroll down through the list of apps, we select the OpenShift app that has been preceded for deployment on Nutanix. NCM self-service, formerly known as CALM, will be leveraged to automate the OpenShift installation. Note that you will not need any specific CALM licenses for this workflow. The minimum supported version of OpenShift for this process is 4.12, as indicated here. Now, we will have to fill in some parameters required for this install. These are mandatory parameters as with any method of OpenShift installation. In this process, a provision of VM will be installed initially, which will download the necessary OpenShift install binaries and command line tools. It will then generate all the required manifests and automate the deployment of an OpenShift cluster using the IPI installation method. First, Let's enter the application name. We will give it a description. The name of the OpenShift cluster will be OCP-NL as well. We will then specify the base domain of our environment. As the description states, the FQDN for the cluster will be of the format cluster name dot base domain name. We will now enter the Prism Central FQDN and the Prism Element FQDN. This is the Nutanix cluster that will host the provision of VM and the OpenShift nodes. For any OpenShift installation, there should be two IP addresses reserved for the API web and the ingress web. Ensure that these have been pre-allocated. Your DNS server should also be able to resolve these IP addresses. Follow the official OpenShift documentation for more information on this. We will leave the default values for the OpenShift pod network and the service networks. However, you will have to be careful that these networks are not being already used in your environment. We will leave the smart defaults of 4 CPUs and 16 gig memory for each control plane node and the default of two worker nodes also known as compute machines. Let me copy and paste the OpenShift pull secret from my Red Hat console site. In this next section, we will specify the configuration for the provision of VM that will be created. We can leave the cluster blank as it will be picked up from the network adapter. Let's select the primary network from this cluster. We can also add the nodes to category if you like. I will be adding it to the default Kubernetes category. As you scroll down in the final step, we have to add the Prism Central admin password. And also I'll be adding the private key here of my Bastion host. This key will be used to SSH into the provision of VM as well as to SSH directly into the OpenShift node VMs, although that is not a recommended practice. Finally, let's hit deploy, and right away we see that the application deployment has begun. Let's switch to the admin center to take a look. We notice that the app is being deployed and can further see all the details we specified earlier, such as the compute and network configuration here. If we click on the Audit tab, this will give us a detailed view of each step in the workflow. After about 30 minutes, the installation completes and the app is in a running state. Let's scroll down to the bottom to find the credentials for the cluster. If we open the Install OpenShift task, we see the logs generated by the OpenShift binary. 
Scrolling down to the bottom, we get the OpenShift console URL. I'm going to navigate to this link and use the credentials provided. Great, I'm able to log into the cluster. We can see that the infrastructure provider is Nutanix. Selecting the install operators, we also see that the Nutanix CSA operator has been deployed already and is ready to provision persistent storage. Further, there's also support for machine API. There's a machine set installed by default, which includes the worker nodes. This enables OpenShift to dynamically provision the underlying Nutanix infrastructure scaling up and down to accommodate the changing needs of modern applications. That's it for today. For additional information on other installation methods and learn how OpenShift can leverage the Nutanix data services, don't forget to try out the Red Hat test drive. Thank you for watching.